Hey guys, it's me. Um, <laughs> I know I sound, ugh, but y'all work with me because I got I got some things I got to um, show y'all today, and it's just small com cosmetics, just a small cosmetic haul. Anyway, y'all know that I am a brush hoarder, so a cosmetic giveaway would not be any good unless I have brushes to show. Anyway, I'm kind of trying to scale down on my um, purchasing of, well, personal cosmetics. I'm not going to scale down on. But as far as my kit's concerned, when I start school, I'll get another kit to add to the current kit that I already have, which will be more huge. Okay, so I don't really have to buy anything. So I'm not going to buy anything for my kit. But there's some stuff in my kit that I absolutely love and that, you know, wanted for myself but needed for the kit. Okay. Anyway, first off, y'all know that I love Sony Kashuk brushes. Yes, I do. They're not, like, you know, crazy expensive. Um, I did order some brushes from Sedona Lace because I like them. I like Sigma brushes as well. Um, so I think I ordered like one brush from Sigma and like four brushes from Sedona Lace. Um, I, I like buying whole sets, but I don't need them because I have hundreds of goddamn brushes. <laughs> and I really don't need those brushes so I like to choose brushes that I haven't used or am very intrigued by but anyway I like Sedona Lace brushes point blank period so I bought these and I thought they were really really cute I have thousands of brushes like this anyway but you can have, have enough brushes especially if you don't use the same brushes every day like myself but what I really wanted to talk to you guys about was these brushes that I bought from Hobby Lobby now if you are a brush connoisseur, you know that a lot of paint brushes are very similar to cosmetic brushes, okay? Because a lot of cosmetic brushes are, you know, copied from the the paint brushes, okay? So Hobby Lobby had a sale, half off. Um, specialty paint brushes, not like the regular paint brushes. So, um, I am in Hobby Lobby all the time for brushes because some of them are amazing. Some of them are better than actual brushes that you buy, you know, from Mac, Set Only, Sigma, um, all, all over, okay? So, first I wanted to show you this this brush right here, okay, and this is a goat hair mop brush, okay, this, that's the term for paint brushes, for paint brushes, but this is a good brush for contouring, okay, it's real goat hair, um, these brushes do shed in the beginning until you wash them, and then they don't. Sh they really don't shed afterwards. But it's an amazing brush, and it's so soft. Look, it just goes like, bang, very soft, and that's what really matters. It's a good soft brush. Um, then I bought two of these, and these are the smaller mop round brushes. Okay. These are goat hair as well, and these are excellent for blending. They're a little bit bigger. They're not going to work on every single eye. They're not going to work on small eyes, but when you have, you know, large lids and a lot of space, these blend extremely well. And you can never have enough blending brushes, ever, 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 ever. And then these are as, um, these are the small mop oval brushes and this is goat hair as well and they're just amazing you can use them as um, blending brushes 
you can pack on your um, eyeshadow with these also, okay? And I just love these. I, I really do. Man, these are Master's Touch, okay? These are fine art studio brushes. Um, this brush right here is $4.99. And I got these on sale, okay? These were 50% off. So $4.99, I got these brushes for $2.50 a piece. And then these were $4.50 also. And then these, this was $5.99. So this was like $3. And these were $2.50. But see, my thing is, the craftsmanship and everything of these brushes are fantastic. I mean, like, they're made, they're good quality brushes. Okay, these brushes you can buy that are similar, you know, as far as the cosmetics world is concerned, and you'll be spending $20. <sighs> Those brushes are fantastic. That's all I have to say. Um, I don't know what Lala's doing, but Lala's going to get a spanking. Um, next, I bought some more Sonia Kashuk brushes, just a blending brush. Bought two blending brushes. And then I bought a pointed foundation brush. And that is all that I bought as far as brushes. I bought some fine glitters. And I bought this beautiful color. You see that color? It's like a light blue. It's almost like a teal color. And then this one is a purple. And these were $2.99 at Hobby Lobby, but they were on sale, so I got them for cheaper. I know a lot of people be like, ah, you're not supposed to put anything on your eyes. But... Really? Come on. If you can, it'd be better to use um, cosmetic grade glitter, but, you know, hey. And this one is fuchsia. And last but not least, I went to Merle Norman. Um, Merle Norman is a cosmetic base cleanser cream. It, it's the jack of all trades in that store. Um, it's like a beauty bar. You go in there, you get whatever you need, lashes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, they have great quality stuff. And I went in there. On another video, I'll talk about the story that I encountered that day. And I bought a new foundation, okay? And this was the Aqua Balance Makeup by Merle Norman. I'm going to be wearing this today. I'll try to do a video, if I have enough time, of me putting this stuff on. Um, this little thing was $25, which to me was kind of cheap compared to what I usually spend when I go in there. I bought that. Um, really liked it. And then I bought some cleansing water makeup remover. This right here is the bomb, okay? You know, most makeup removers or your wipes, what they usually do is they don't really wipe everything off. They kind of just move the stuff around on your face. This doesn't do that. When you wipe it, it, come, it comes off. It's not just moving everything around on your face. So I really like this. Um, this was about almost $30.00 but it's very big and a little goes a long way. But that's all I have as far as um, cosmetics is concerned. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I will talk to you guys later.